Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector. This is my dog, Dan. Hi. We are in Las Vegas, the home of the UFC and the mecca of MMA. In our opinion, and we've talked about this uh, before. What do you got, dog? Yeah, we, we both agree on this. Um, they go out there and, and finish a fight early in the first round. But don't get caught speeding. <laughs> don't get caught speeding on this fight. <laughs> They're against a guy who, who just had a, got bit by a dog with rabies or something. For me, it's a do not bet. And uh, betting advice, do not bet. But it's going to be one of those things, guys. I really, I really feel it. It's unanimous. MMA dogs have spoken. Five star. And it's, uh, that's going to be a knockout. Just something to highlight the night. MMADogs.com. MMADawgs.com. UFC 167. George Rush St. Pierre defends his welterweight title against Johnny Hendricks, the big rig, live on pay-per-view from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Now for this matchup, we go back in time one year to November 17th, 2012, when both these guys fought at UFC 154. GSP narrowly escaped defeat from a nasty head kick. It was the most hurt we had seen GSP since his April 2007 loss to Matt Serra. Moments before that fight, Johnny Hendricks knocked out his opponent in 46 seconds and solidified his role in the welterweight division as a top contender. Everyone was talking after that fight how GSP needs to fight Johnny Hendricks. Everyone that is except GSP. GSP wanted Nick Diaz and that's exactly who he had to fight. Johnny Hendricks didn't want to wait until after that fight to fight GSP, so he fought Carlos Condit, the man GSP defeated at 154, on the same night. Both earned a unanimous decision victory over their opponent, and the match was set. Now what do we know about GSP? The first thing that comes to mind is wrestling. The second thing that comes to mind is game plan, and he plays it very, very safe. If you take out the corner stoppage in his defense against BJ Penn, GSP has not finished a fight since his revenge match to Matt Serra when he won for the second time the UFC welterweight championship. Since his one loss nearly three years ago, Johnny Hendricks has been on a six fight winning streak with three decision wins and three first round knockouts. Johnny Hendricks also has great wrestling, a great chin, and one mad, mad left hook. The Big Rig's last two finishes came with a combined total of just 58 seconds when he knocked out John Fitch and Martin Campman with just one punch. His last three decision wins have people wondering if he can actually go five rounds consistently and win, as GSP has done for the last several years. So what's the game plan going into this fight? Well, for GSP, game plan, survive, weather the early storm, get the fight to rounds four and five. That is, if you don't finish the fight sooner. For Johnny Hendricks, you have to finish the fight early or arguably win three or more rounds. In a championship fight, you have to take the belt from the champion, as Gilbert Melendez found out after fighting Ben Henderson and after Alexander Gustafsson fought John Jones. This will be GSP's first fight in the United States since UFC 111 when he beat Dan Hardy and his first fight in Las Vegas since UFC 100 when he beat Tiago Alves four and a half years ago. My dog Hector and I had the pleasure of being at the Las Vegas fight for the big rig when he smashed right through John Fitch. We guarantee more betting picks right than wrong or your money back. So if you're looking to bet on this fight, buy our picks, MMADogs.com.